given us this mantra of purity we have made this mantra into a mystic message which helps us to go forward each day i welcome all of you from all corners of the world from different countries into this fourth session of discussion on celibacy who are decorated with purity and who are great souls themselves purity is the base of our lives babas baba has come for us first he gave us the definition of purity baba said o oh children be pure be yogi babas defined purity as divinity greatness and the ultimate decoration of a brahmin we must keep this definition with us all the time purity is the greatness like how there is no life without breath there is no brahmin without purity without air we feel suffocated just like that without purity a spiritual life gets suffocated without purity we can't progress the expectations we have from spiritual life are not fulfilled only purity is the basis of attainments of confluence age this is your personality this is the novelty on the basis of which everyone is everyone's attention will be drawn towards baba's children everywhere else there is fire of lust 
Only Baba's children are determined to take the torch of purity in their hand and going forward on this mission of making the whole world pure. Baba has said, give attention on micro level, check on the mental level, words spoken and the deeds. What is the level of purity? Because the attainments are proportionate to the level of purity. They inherit for 21 births based on how much purity one imbibe. We did exclusive discussions on this topic last time too. This time also we will dig into this topic in depth. Let's find out more for this dharna of the great virtue of purity. Let's hear it from respectful Suraj Bhai Ji. First we will listen what are the inspiration from him today. Om Shanti, I welcome you all brothers and sisters who have joined have an internal desire of imbibing purity on a micro level. Purity is the mother of all other virtues. Purity and service is the fourth topic. Let me explain a little bit about it. Many years ago, Baba said in Sakar Murli that when the Guru is pure, his disciples are equally pure. When the instrument teachers are pure, they attract more souls of the deity clan. And the service grows further and further. Services have the hurdle of impurity. Purity is a great power which makes you a humble being and a sweet personality. Purity elevates the thoughts and mental level. Purity will never let anyone fall. The souls are very inspired and encouraged and they grow the service very easily without much efforts. They become Sahaj Yogi, Easy Yogi. Many souls come to us from different backgrounds and with different expectations. Some came in search of truth, some come in search of God, whatever their aim is. But if we give sustenance with love, then they will not leave us. But if we reject them, if we become restless by their states, or we cannot change their mentality, then that's our limitation. It is our huge responsibility that we have to make others sweet and bring harmony in relationships. Purity is the instrument to increase the services. Let me remind you a few of Baba's sayings. When you have the ego and pride, the bouquet of the flowers of services gets wilted. Very small line and a big secret from God. Being selfish is also a huge wall on the path of service. When somebody is selfish and they have their vested interest in service, then they will hit the wall on the path of being karmatit. When the soul becomes pure, then the intellect is so cheerful 
that they don't want anything for themselves. For them, any desire is useless. They don't desire any respect, any higher uh, uh, status level, nothing. The pure souls become becomes great kings of the whole world in golden age. They have so many servants to do their tasks for them. So them. Being director, chairperson in this world is nothing for them. So the great souls become very pure. Avyakt Baba has said this beautiful saying on only once when your eyes will see everyone a shining star in their forehead naturally then the shining stars you will be you will attract the whole world towards you everyone will be looking at you there are many secrets for these realizations. These secrets will come through the purity, not by the TV broadcasting or newspaper news. I have reminded this earlier also that Baba said, when you will become completely pure, then you will have the visions of realizations. And then there will be a lot of services done. You will not have to prove anything. People will just come and bow down. Whatever you will say is the truth. And they will offer everything, whatever they have. Another important saying Baba has shared about 50 years back. When you will become free of queue of vested thoughts, then there will be a queue of souls who wants to surrender to you. Purity is such an elevated decoration for ourselves. Souls will just get surrender in front of the deities. The whole world will get attracted towards this purity. We do not need to get attracted towards anyone. The wealth will come to us. We just have to stay absorbed in our godly treasure. This world, worldly wealth is nothing to us. In those days, Mumbai was very small. Baba said that each diamond decorated on the walls of your palaces of golden age would be equivalent to the wealth of whole Mumbai. So who are going to be so rich? Who has the goddess of wealth lucks me with them. Today's treasure are nothing to them. A whole lot of wealth through from the whole world will come to us. Even today, the temples of Vishnu in India are full of so much wealth. Then imagine the extent of wealth in paradise, the golden age, where those souls are living kings of the world. So just be desireless. Pure souls does not have any desires. We don't want anything from this world. Then the services 
will come just as it is. There will be a tsunami of services by 2025. Yeah, and we will deliver whole gyan in just one hour. But whoever is able to shower pure golden rays from their eyes and whoever has their forehead shining onto other souls and whoever will serve others with love and blessings and treasures of powers, such pure souls will shine into the world. They will co complete Baba's Gyan. Baba is now hiding. When Sakar Baba became a Vyakt, then sisters and Dadi used to ask Baba, Baba, why you left? Then Baba replied, Gyan Surya, the son of knowledge, is hiding to let the tiny stars shine. He is so great. He made us ready to do service. He is staying in the background and letting us shine. Those who will have the light of purity and sacrifice will get great services done. So, all brothers, sisters, adorn yourself with this great virtue of purity. Churn the knowledge and enjoy the fruits of purity and free yourself of vices of many births. Ours is a different path, the alokic path. We are in the competition for who, who will accomplish godly tasks first. Our race is a race of yoga. So let's not go for worldly competitions and think how can we utilize our last time of last birth in godly services. Let us be the one who fulfill the desires of our God friend. And let us be useful to this world. Everyone would definitely pay attention on this dharana. Let us come to the question answers now. We would all pay attention on this inculcation. We promised the Supreme Father. We cannot walk back from the promises we gave to the God. If not, then he will not trust on us and also no one will trust us in silver age so we will keep the confidence or trust that god has on us then we will be on the top of the peak of the greatness we will become the world benefactor We will become the one who to give liberation and liberation in life. Baba, such great statements of Baba that those inspires us and fills us up with the powers that we feel assured that this is the only life and the life when astray for a time being the whole the world believes happiness in something different but the path of purity is the true test of life and how great and pleasurable it is so the brother how you said that those who are the pillars the services will have the purity shining on 
shining through their faces and their actions and the services will happen naturally let us revisit those dharna in the murli of last season baba said that we have to get our thoughts words and actions into purity there are many thoughts came come and go from morning till night how can we purify our thoughts this is a very great hike to achieve first of all i would say that where the souls are very pure where whether at home or at the centers those places have very different elevated vibrations they are like a very fragrant in incense sticks the aura which is created will give very elevated experiences whoever visits them i would say one more thing before we go further baba has said many times that last plane will be yours from abroad to come to madhuban i'm saying that you don't have to rush to come to madhuban you will not be at peace here maybe 10 15 days and then you will remember your homes i have seen this you will not feel easy here you are all the pillars and many souls are depending on you so that's why your presence is required at different different places not everyone would come to madhuban all the great souls will be placed at different places in india and abroad where these great souls are present their vibrations will support the souls in all direction from where they are situated they will protect them we are master world benefactor we will not run away anywhere the powerful souls don't rush anywhere don't run away they do different actions this is baba's plan this is not a human being's plan baba is a supreme teacher and his way of teaching is also supreme he motivates us in a different way who wants our intellect to be separated from the world but if your intellect is not separated from the world and you rush to madhuban then in a few days you will be distracted and get get a pull to go back so the purity of thoughts words and actions baba said the purity of the relationships as well the purity in relationship means very sweet no one should feel bitter from us no one should feel low or hurtful from us as soon as they see us they should be happy i remember this childhood memory dadi prakash mani her room was next to the kitchen when she used to come into kitchen do you have tea or something she used to ask she used to come five times in a day initially we used to be afraid of her that she's our old elder and such but after experiencing her attitude very elevated very happy and she has to ask she used to ask what have you made surya today uh, show me she used to teach us gradually we became open to her we used to make many mistakes because we didn't know how to cook she used to teach us with so much love once the dal was burnt then she said it's okay 
just throw it out and make a new one. She never scolded us. Let me share one experience. Mahamandaleshwar, a sage, a group of sage, were visiting Madhuban. Dadi and Nirvarbhai and uh, others were giving tour to them. They were climbing steps of the Panda Bhavan. One old man held Dadi's finger. Dadi thought that it's okay, he is an old man, he might need support. So she let him hold the finger. He just kept holding for a while. The whole meditation hall was witnessing this. And then there was a meeting where there was Mama's room. And that the old man said that I want to share one experience. He said, when I was holding Dadi's finger, do you know how much purity Dadi has? He said the purity I experienced from Dadi is out of this world. Not even I have that kind of purity. Such souls, they are pure souls. They liberate strong vibrations of purity from their each body parts. The Dadi who has sweetness in actions, who gives happiness, who is teaching to others, who keeps family united, who keeps everyone, every bead threaded in one thread. These are the characteristics of pure soul. Purity of words, anger, pain, jealousy, hatred, mockery are often expressed in words. One who has attained purity, their words are not words anymore. Their words become like a nectar. Our internal attitude is expressed through the words we speak. So we have to be very careful not to speak words of anger, jealousy, hatred, etc. These are char characteristics of low souls. The words should be sweet, the words which unite people, the words which give solace to disturbed souls, the words which can make others worry-free. Purity in actions. We have to adopt celibacy. Whatever I have said in other classes are very micro things. We have to renounce all the desires of lust. It is because of these types of desires the bad dreams happen. Because of the incomplete desires, they, full, they get fulfilled in dreams. For example, if someone doesn't know how to drive a car, they will definitely drive a car in the dreams. I have also driven car in my dreams. <laughs> so, leave all the desires, whether it is a bodily attraction or an attraction to go closer to a body. Mind is filled with thoughts from many parts. We have to get rid of those slowly and slowly. We have to pay attention on ourselves for six months, we have to see where our thoughts go and come from. Is there any relation of these thoughts with our actions or any bad act of past? All of these are basis of the thoughts. We have to put a full stop, do whatever we did up, up until today, write on letter to Baba, surrender everything and burn all that. Ask for forgiveness. Thank Baba for his pure life. Ask for forgiveness 
to the nature for impurity. And manifold thanks to Baba for giving us this pure life. Our aim should be to be pure by thoughts, words and actions. I have said it before too that this is a long journey. I took an oath of celibacy since childhood as I was attached to Arya Samaj organization where they taught a, they taught a lot of about celibacy and purity. As age grows, impure thoughts do come. It's natural. There may be dreams or bodily attractions or impure thoughts. But be aware and realize that now Maya has come. Let it push away. Invite Baba and push Maya away. The thoughts which disturbs are similar, practice self-respects, use gyan. So don't be disappointed. Just thoughts are not too bad impurity. When and as you get pure day by day, it will be easy to deal with this. We don't look back. Keep moving forward and we will reach to our destination. <coughs> so don't get disappointed and just keep moving forward without any stoppage. question brother this is about dreams this is about the dream and sometimes it happens that there is a scene or some sort of scenes in the dream and the nightfall happens the nocturnal emissions so in this situation what should we do yeah this happens with many Often Kumar comes and talks about this. Look, give half an hour before you go to bed. Charge the water with the self-respect and pure soul. And drink it. Read Murli for some time. Prep yourself with spirituality before going to sleep. So, the effects of whole day, effects of past lives will get nullified. We don't know how was the past life, how lustful we were in the previous lives. So don't get disappointed. This will get destroyed gradually. Don't take it very seriously. But we need to improve slowly and steadily. Just take it for a month and then increase the time. When I was young, I did the study when I was around 25 years of age. I experimented that I don't want to see any bad dreams for or lustful dreams for six months and like that. By doing such experiments, they will reach to a best elevated state. I realized that by practicing this way, I will reach to my destination. So I make up, so make up your mind and your intellect. Prepare yourself before going to bed. Understand that now spirituality is my life. You must heard this mama story. Many years ago, Mama, Mama went to Mumbai and Dramesh Bhai took her for a drive around the city. He showed her a big hoarding 
and told that we will have such big hoarding for us. Mama is looking up and she sees only Baba's light. And when she looks down, she just see the, sees the souls. There are many bodily attractions out there. Decorated bodies, girls wear very short outfits, but we only see the souls. As time changes, outfits, outfits will change, food habits will change, lifestyle will change. I haven't seen such a life, but do the best, do the best Amritvela. If something happens in the bed at night, get out of the bed, freshen up, do some yoga, be with the father. You must have to do this, otherwise you will feel guilty and throughout the day, that your day will be spoiled as well. I'm giving a suggestion that there are medicines in homeopathy and Ayurveda to control the glands. You may take them to help, to get help. But Baba says that uh, you should control your body and desires with the power of yoga. Yeah, but then you must have such a strong, powerful yoga. We must be the king of organs of actions. And these are not the jadi bhutis, the ayurveda uh, or uh, magic medicines. These are the homeopathic and ayurvedic medicines, which controls the glands very effectively. I have had many kumar this way and that has helped them. Question, brother, initially you talked about the eyes, that if your gaze is naturally on a soul level, then many of the problems will be solved, resolved just like that. So how come it is possible that your mental vision through the eyes is naturally soulful and don't see the body at all? Answer. Look, it's not like you don't see the body. You see the body, but you must practice being soul, not this body. This is a matter of practice. I am churning the knowledge. Who, who are sitting at home, do the study, sit alone and think drama is beautiful. Everyone is playing there roll nicely how we descended from deity to this age body is destroyable we get another body when we leave this one and practice five forms of soul such a beautiful study at office or home wherever you are do traffic control think everyone around is a soul we all go home one day when we become pure. With the help of the third eye of wisdom, see people as shining stars in their forehead. When we see souls in others forehead if we do this study five times even if we see five people as souls shining stars it's enough we will get connected on a soul level and the soul to soul vibrations will travel to those souls Baba has said, when we see others as a soul, means we are sending them vibrations. So then we see others as souls 
our spirituality will travel to them and they will also try to be in soul consciousness. Yes, Baba has said this is not just a practice study but this is, has to go deep down into a deeper level that we are souls, not this body. Sometimes we have a fear Baba says that even if you have a little bit of impurity as a tiny portion, it will take a form of a big chunk and destroy everything. So sometimes everything is going to going so smooth, but something comes up on the surface from the past and it stirs up the present time and at the time we fear at that time we fear that we might be we might get defeated the answer is no need to be afraid of anything we must keep this will strong in our head that we will be able to conquer at the end many has experienced this that not just a small por uh, portion, but they have a big treasure of vices and lust in them. They took vow in front of Baba, but they did not increase their power of yoga. This treasure is a treasure of fire which burnt them. The more yoga we do, the more yoga energy we gather and this fire of lust will get put off. I say this, do this practice of five forms. I say it very often. Practice self-respect of soul consciousness. Be a pure soul. We become master of organs of actions. And by this, the tiny portions of lust, full desires, which can blast the whole life will be cooled down. So cool down the fire of lust by fire of yoga. How much hard work you do for your locking jobs? Some do 10, 12 hours work. They get tired for this worldly job. So this hard work we are doing is for the, to attain the kingdom of the world for which we must work hard and be prepared. Yeah, Baba is to say this very often that even to buy a small earthen pot, the cheap earthen pot, we knock it a lot and check whether it's leaking or not. In the Sakar Baba used to say that uh, if if the God is giving you the kingdom, he he is gonna knock you a little bit, right? So, come on, be prepared. The question now. Baba, you keep our Maya with you. Don't send it to us. Then Baba says, no, I will send Maya and ask you to test you hard. Do Baba send Maya in real? What does it mean? Do Baba create Maya? Actually, this is from scriptures. God is often called as owner of Maya. He asks Maya to go test and check whether the soul is ready or not. If the, the soul is capable of receiving kingdom or not. This is a nice story. Maya is a cat which sits at your door and says meow, meow. In Hindi it means may come in. May come in and you open the door and there you go. Maya comes in. You don't open the door means don't accept Maya. Baba has said in Murli that if enemy is hitting on you your job is to hit back. You do such strong hit back that 
I would never come back to you. Maya would say that. I would never come back to you. Baba said that the more you will become a warrior, I will also become stronger. Maya is saying that. If you attain more heights, Maya will also attain higher heights. <laughs> Answer. Baba's method of making us strong and prepared is very unique. The Supreme Teacher has a supreme way to motivate us. The truth is, the more powerful we become, everyone will be afraid, including Maya. But Baba is wanting his children to be strong. That's why he says that as you get stronger, Maya gets stronger too. So we become stronger and stronger and keep moving forward. If it will not happen with everyone like that. Maya has many subtle forms too. We conquer bigger forms of Maya, but the subtle forms like ego, selfishness, jealousy, need of praise, etc. will defeat you. Means the chain of irons are broken, but the chains of gold remains. Question. Some are not so good looking or at a, at a good position, but still there is an attraction toward them. So how do we interpret this? How do we end it? This could be from other side. Another one might be attracting. We may have karmic accounts too. Previous births are also considered. But some souls have much impurity and their intentions are impure whether they are beautiful or not. We only send them pure vibrations. One thing we must decide that from now, this is not my path. This intention is very helpful. It was very helpful to me in my young age. We used to go to museums or go outside in Abu. We used to see young couples who come celebrate their honeymoon. I used to I used to see them holding their hands in each other's hands and walk together. I just say in my head, this is their path, not mine. And that bad thought just vanished away. So these words, yes, brother, we can settle karmic accounts by counter intentions. We have to break off with souls. We have to break off with soul consciousness. And we have to break it off sweetly by a pure soul conscious attitude. Yes, when we think of as someone's bene uh, someone as benefactor, then we do feel light. Yeah, many times Kumar comes and say that this Kumari is saying that if you don't marry me, I will commit suicide. I have pity on her. They want, uh, they want to be her benefactor. Kumari says I will be pure, but no one stays uh, says pure. I tell them, if anyone who is committing suicide, let her do. Why are you committing suicide? To become impure is like committing suicide. She is threatening to you and that way getting your attention. 
you just tell her to do whatever. Just detach yourself and make yourself very determined. Be strong and detached. Don't get influenced by them. Baba says in Murli that lust will give pains in Adi, Madhya and Ant. What does it mean? There are many aspects there. When lust is at thought level, then the pain has started at that point. When it comes in action, mind and intellect becomes polluted and energy is wasted. And at the end, there will be a lot of guilt. Pain starts, relationships become bitter, expectations increases and they become dependent on each other. Lust begin at the beginning of the copper age and it increased slowly and now it is at the peak. I see that in many rich families too, how they are all unhappy and sad. The money doesn't matter for happiness. So this lust gives you pains in the before, during and the end stage. That is why it is said so. So beginning is Adi, in the middle is Madhya and end is Ant. So just leave the lust. So there is no happiness or attainments in lustful acts. That's why Baba says so. Question. We have heard that Baba allowed some marriages. Is it still allowed? Baba allowed those thinking that some sisters were in detention. So if they get married to Kumar, then they are freed. But it happened so, some of those broke the vows of celibacy. So if you do marry now, it's solely on your responsibility. Yagya is not responsible at all. When you get married, you get emotionally attached and lose the identity. Alone is like being a king, but when another one is en entered in our being, then you become slave. Can we adopt kids? Baba is a great kid, but can we adopt kid? Same thing, you may but then you will get attached. Your intellect will get attracted and drawn towards the kid and your yoga will not be powerful. I have seen that the kid was so naughty and all peace of parents is ruined. If you do adopt, you have to think whether you will be able to adopt to kids sanskar. Will you be happy with that kid, etc.? You have to take decision for that. Sometimes mothers do feel emptiness, but there will be such hardships in adopting kids. I don't deny for this tradition we have in Bharat. Question. For sisters, can they make bhog and offer bhog to Baba? Can they go to yoga room when they have their menstrual periods?
This is just a natural process. So do they have to follow any restrictions? Since this is considered as a um, impure It's a little bit of impurity, so don't offer bhog to Baba. You do rest everything as a routine. You may do rest of the things uh, just how you do on a daily basis. Can't I do once a bhog? No. Just uh, offer before you eat. That's no, uh, like how you do on everyday basis normally but not with the proper ritual. Baba will not accept that bhog. Often it is said that celibacy increases lifespan, but we see many dies at a young age in these days. So, see, Swami Vivekanand, who was pure, purest of pure, died at a very young age. Even Shankaracharya also died at a young age. It doesn't matter. They may have some other reasons for their death. Some may live longer. Celibacy keeps body healthy. Sometimes they do get sick because they have other reasons. Swami Dayanand used to say that if I live till 100 years, then I will not get wrinkles on my forehead. Even then I will not get wrinkles on my forehead. But he was poisoned when he was around 70 and he died. If we keep our lifestyle and food uh, on a um, good quality along with celibacy, it may take us long way. But there is also karmic accounts too. Just celibacy would not work. If your karmic uh, uh, accounts are cleared, then you have to go. So it depends upon many factors. One more thing is the sleep, nidra, also has important role on health. If we do not pay attention on how to, when and how much we need to sleep, then that also matters and affects on the uh, dharna of celibacy. Yes, and that is why Baba has made very nice daily routine. There was a song which used to play at 10 p.m. and then 3.30 a.m. as a wake-up song. This is a nice routine and pure effect of early morning time benefits our intellect. That early morning time makes us pure. We feel happy and cheerful. Eat less spicy sattvic food. That is helpful. Some can digest spicy food, some cannot. So food and sleep habits both are impacting on celibacy. God has made us a royal and balanced routine. So follow it. The one who sleeps for long they will also not be able to follow celibacy. They will have bad dreams. Baba says to go to sleep at 10 and wake up at 2.30 a.m. But some cannot sleep well at night. So how do they maintain their daily routine? 
often they go to bed after midnight. So how do we do and how do we deal with the uh, daily routine? The idea is when you are up from sleep, turn the time to do yoga. Stay away from TV or social media. If you are sleeping at 1 a.m., then you start your yoga time at 6 a.m. Don't feel guilty about it. Make a sleep routine. A routine to follow at bedtime. That will make, release the sleep hormone in your body. Baba says, Don't worry about uh, what time you woke up or not, uh, at, at 4 a.m. or not. Baba says that uh, certain times are impure. No, that's not right with everyone. Some get a powerful yoga at midnight. I used to do that when I was young because I had a habit of staying up at night for study. So, uh, that was continued. So I had a most powerful yoga at midnight and I used to enjoy that. So that's individual. If we keep food and lifestyle keep pure till age of 25, then it's easy. But some asks that we have joined at a later age. So our attitude is pulling us towards desires. Our intellect gets drawn to those. What do we so? What do we do? In these days, everything is impure. Nothing is available in a pure state. You are in the youth. Even, even the youth is eating junk food. So don't mind for all of uh, that. Just charge the water with good self-respect, elevated thoughts, and a powerful yoga, and it will get rid of old habits. Give the pure vibrations from soul to the whole body, like the golden rays of purity are spreading throughout my body, and my each organ is becoming pure and clean. These are just uh, one, two minutes drills. Yeah, so whenever we woke up, that we call it a morning. Sometimes we just get hooked up on such things. Then those can bind them from getting pure. Some people had bad lives. Baba says it openly. Whatever way, uh, way was your life, but this is new life. So forget the past. Don't repeat it in your head and lead a new life, new way. Swami Dayanand Saraswati Ji was asked that do the God of lust comes to you? He was asked this question. How do you handle? He answered, Yes, he do come, but he just stands at the door because I remain busy. So, the, the idea of keeping ourselves busy, how do we keep ourselves busy? Swami Dayanan was in the in the celibacy since childhood. He he was founder of a, a great pillar of this type of institution. He had imbibed 
celibacy deeply into his being. That's why the god of lust was not able to touch him at all. We have to just think that we have left that life. We are in a new life. We, we want to give a new light to the world. So we have to leave the old um, beliefs and get power from yoga. So it's not just like to keep ourselves busy, but keep be yourself busy in spirituality. Be busy in remembrance, yoga, service and locking jobs. So sometimes people do think that, oh, I did this and that lot. Let me just do some entertainment. And that's when they become victim of Maya. So yeah, our enter entertainment is has to be a logic now. See, Man Mana Bhava is the only enter entertainment for us. Look, Man Mana Bhava is not everyone's cup of tea. This is a deep study. Do yoga in entertaining way. I'm just showing you this, that uh, on one side we have Brahma Baba and on the other side the Shiv Baba and just alternate that Brahma Ma is giving me cool rays and then after a while just think that uh, the sun of knowledge Gyan Surya is giving me the golden rays and just play like this sometimes you go into the incorporeal world sometimes you just invite Baba right here in front of us for for sisters and mothers just invite Baba with you and ask him to help many times uh, at Madhuban they share that we do this and uh, it we don't realize that how fast we can work in Shri Baba's kitchen. So, the dharna of purity is very important in micro effects. So the question is, Make the yoga in an entertaining uh, manner. Yes, brother, we have many questions. And uh, the dharana of purity, if we impipe this, the services will happen naturally. If we have this dharana of purity, the souls will get attracted by themselves and there will be many revelations and realizations happening on this basis. So these are very important and affecting on a micro level. This one aspect is mentioned in scriptures that if you imbibe the celibacy for six months on a very focused way and also do yoga sadhana then celibacy becomes easy. Should we do such Hatha Yoga a forced practice? Sometimes it is necessary to do Hatha Yoga or just focused, stay focused on certain things. Six months is not enough time for everyone. Some, 
for some six months is a long time and for some it is less everyone has different type of life and different lifestyles if someone has a good lifestyle then six months are good enough for them whatever sadhanas the yogic practices baba has taught us like eat light meals set the daily routine well planned have a silence for one day do beautiful yoga sadhanas make a well organized plan for efforts if you have a weekend off then plan yogic activities throughout these two days building such good habits will create a great experience and achievements and it will give a sort of happiness and unique taste to life this taste makes life really well rounded yes even psychologists say that if you want to create a habit into sanskara when you do this habit repeatedly for certain number of days then you will be dedicated to that it will be just part of your being and then everything becomes easy now the time is ending and we have many questions we have questions related to services we must do deep thinking churning of knowledge about this one in our life i remember this example of swami vivekanand he was once walking on a street of usa he had a very unique type of personality and aura and brightness coming out from him a lady came to him and asked him to marry with her swami vivekanand asked her back that why do you want to why does she want to marry with him and she replied that she wants to have a brilliant son like just like you and that's why she wants to marry with him then swami vivekananda replied that it is not necessary that the offspring would be just like me why don't you accept me as your son instead this is such a heightened level of celibacy and purity the such a greatness the great souls will just uh take this so easy with such a easiness i know that example another example from scriptures draupadi and pandavas once they were together in their forest uh, life there was such a tree that even if a broken fruit or part of that tree can grow into a tree if planted by a pure person then draupadi said i can do this because all my life i have been focused only on my five husbands no one else so she tried but it didn't work and then she asked shri krishna that why this happened so because it is believed in scriptures that uh, it is mentioned in scriptures that if you are pure by just focus, staying focused on your husband have not thought about any other person then you are pure shri krishna replied that 
look, once you were on your terrace and you saw Karna passing by, you were admiring his look and brightness. Karna was naturally very bright because he was son of the sun, the bright sun, and he was very attractive. So this is how her vow was broken. Purity is measured on a very micro level. We have Brother, if we have you to observe this dharna, we have you to help us travel very with very ease on this dharna. Once we become pure on such level, then we will be able to face Baba with power of purity. Let us do the meditation. I am an angel of purity. Whoever has a high purity, they can set this intention that I am the sun of purity, very bright. The golden rays of purity are spreading all around from my body. A beautiful aura has been created around me. Visualize Gyan Surya, the sun of knowledge, is shining on our head. Vibrations are showering on to me.
ताकार हृदय कुंज में ऐसा पुष्प खिला जिसकी सुगंध से जीवन में सुख ही सुख मिला पवित्रता का हृदय सुगंध से जीवन में सुख है सुख
सबका भला हो यही दुआ का 